Hi guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. Yeah, I get it. He's dead though, so he's not gonna be like less dead later. I'm doing a video, I gotta go. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. After successfully creating and touring the country with their The Art of Video Games exhibition last summer, the Smithsonian decided to take an even bolder stance in the Are Video Games Art debate? And they did so on the side of YES! by acquiring two video games for their permanent collection. Uh, this is different and way better than exhibition status because these games have leveled up from being considered as art to Art. And these pieces of art, which are the first video game selections for the permanent collection ever, are That Game Company's Flower and Ed Freeze's browser-based Atari love letter that is Halo 2600. These two games exist on opposite sides of the visual and playable spectrums, but that doesn't matter. Creativity does not discriminate. Mm-hmm, Joe Beretta. Flower represents the type of game churned out by a studio like most games, and Halo 2600 is an example of one man's passion and dedication. A very long official Smithsonian quote starts like this. Video games are offer a compelling avant-garde performance space, activated by artists and players alike. These media art practices are distinct from film, video, and theater, and mark a critical development in the history of art. The museum is acquiring works that explore and articulate the unique boundaries of video games as an art form, and plans to acquire additional video games in the future, working with artists, developers, and programmers to represent this new creative practice. It's a long quote, Joe, you gotta tag me I out. got you, brother, I got you. Okay, whew. <sighs> the inclusion of video games furthers the mission of the museum and ensures the ongoing preservation, study, and interpretation of video games as part of the National Collection of American Art. Whoa, we did it! <sighs> Woo! Oh my god, <sighs> I didn't think we were gonna make it through that one. Talk about the games. <sighs> Flower, from a visual standpoint, might seem like a duh move by the museum because it's beautiful and it looks like art, but the smart museum types point out that it's more than that. It's the experience. The game doesn't truly become art until the player interacts and becomes part of the process. You can't become a part of the Mona Lisa. You can't go in the painting and hug her or like maybe protect yeah, her from Mona goblins. Yeah, is a cold bitch. And Halo 2600 is a modern day throwback to an oft forgotten video game era. The pixelated Master Chief, the old school Atari sound effects, and the stripped down simplicity are nothing short of genius. Anyways, I do believe the video game art debate is officially over, and by over I mean it was never a legitimate debate. Video games are playable books. They're, they're interactive movies. They're paintings that tell stories. They're fun. And maybe that was the problem all along. Hey guys, uh, pick one game that you think deserves to be in the permanent collection and tell me why down below. Hey, and maybe if you don't have a favorite game for some reason because you're weird, you can go to gamefly.com slash sourcefed and get a bunch of games that you can play at home. It's like playing games at home. Yeah, and it's like on us. It's on us. Yeah. We're going to turn you guys into like snooty, snobby video game art critics. Yeah. Oh, oh, I like the, I enjoyed how the A and B buttons functioned in relation to how the pixels moved on the screen. Oh, we never needed a select button anyway. Oh, the new man. generation consoles are oh. Uh, incredible. Oh. Oh, those oh. graphics are quite amazing. Oh. Hey guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the annotation for our five daily stories. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Did that guy really die? I don't know. I got to check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got like 32 text messages. Congratulations. Thanks, man.